All right, gang, thank you for taking a look at our video, Where Special Characteristics Come From. Now, as a trainer, as a consultant, this is one of the things that I get asked more often than almost any other question. And there is a ton of misconception out there in the field. So I thought I'd make a quick video to kind of explain to you where they come from and kind of put it to bed once and for all. Now, let's start by dispelling a common myth. There is no magic compendium list standard for what is called a special characteristic, okay? It doesn't exist. You can't go to any one document and find a list of what is a special characteristic because it depends on many, many different factors. So the first thing that I want you to get, there is no unified list or agreed upon definition. The second thing that I want you to get is that there is no symbology reference in terms of a unified symbology. So there is no definition and there is no agreed upon symbology. So without any guidance, how do you know what a special characteristic should be? And quite frankly, a special characteristic comes from a variety of places. Most importantly, and primarily, it comes from your customer specific requirements. When you take on that job from your customer, they flow down the things that they consider special. Now, let's talk about that term special for a second. I use the term special because there is also misunderstanding that there is a universal nomenclature. There's not. I've seen special characteristics, key characteristics, critical characteristics, regulatory characteristics. I want you to get used to in this video, we're going to be talking about important characteristics. So there's no magical unified definition for the term special even. So when we talk about important characteristics, Important characteristics come primarily from your customer specific requirements. Now, that is not the only place that they arrive. In addition, your organization defines special or important characteristics. So your customers have a say, you have a say. Now, they're not the only two people at the party. You also have your regulators. Regulators have needs. Now, how you transfer those needs into characteristics? Up to you. Know that there is no unified area for where special characteristics come from, and you have to look at a variety of sources, including your CSRs, your organization's own requirements, your regulatory bodies, and whatever else you might think are important. And so when we look at important characteristics, what I started out in the video calling special, hopefully by now you understand there is no unified definition, there is no unified symbology, there is no unified nomenclature. So when you're talking about special characteristics, one of the things I want you to think about, what are the important characteristics based on your commodity, your industry, and your company? All right, that's a little three minute video on where special characteristics come from. Hopefully it's forced you to look outward instead of relying on somebody to tell you what is important in the product you make. All right, have a good one.